Hi, in this video, we'll talk about what does positive ANA test means and why you should even do an ANA test. So let's see when our doctor is likely to prescribe an ANA test. It is when he or she predicts that you might have an autoimmune disorder like let's say lupus, rheumatoid arthritis or scleroderma. But wait a second, what is autoimmune disorder? Generally, our body is protected by the immune system. And the immune cells such as plasma cells secretes antibody against pathogens, let's say this virus, and protects our body from the harmful effects of these pathogens. So thereby, immune system ensures our body is always protected. Our immune system does not attack our own cell types because they know these are the self and they are not foreign to our body. But under certain circumstances, immune system misunderstands its own cells as their enemy and they start generating antibodies known as autoantibodies against these cell types and thereby causing a great harm to these cells. Antinuclear antibodies often attack our body's own tissue specifically targeting the nuclear membrane or nuclear structures. An ANA test actually detects whether anti-nuclear antibody is present in the patient blood sample or not. In order to do so, the technicians withdraw blood from the patient and it's basically a simple blood test requires less than 10 ml blood from blood to be drawn from you. So you don't need to even fast for the ANA test. But what you need to know is what to expect from an ANA test result. In most cases, positive ANA test means that you might have an autoimmune disorder. So it's a screening test. But many people do have ANA test positive but are very healthy. So how to interpret the result? And in this video, we'll talk these things in detail. Particularly women which are who are older than 65 shows elevated autoantibodies and their test is positive for ANA. But what does all these means in terms of autoimmune disorders. Let's say this is a patient who is suffering from systemic lupus erythematous and based on this particular characteristic rashes in her face, you can understand it might be a symptom of lup lupus. So in order to get 100% sure, the doctor prescribes an ANA test as a beginning. So in that particular test, blood samples would be drawn from the patient, the serum would be extracted and the serum would be added to a HEP2 cell line in a pathological laboratory. Now, HEP2 cell line is an array of hundreds of antigens. Now, if the anti-nuclear antibody is present, most likely these antibodies would detect antigens present on these HEP2 cell lines. HEP2 cells are used because they have wide variety of these antigens and, and these varieties are not recapitulated in many other cell lines. But luckily, HEP2 cell line does. So we have two outcomes. One outcome is the patient sample has antinuclear antibodies. And second outcome is the patient sample might not have any antinuclear antibody. So obviously, the second case, the ANA test would be negative, And in the first case, the ANA test would be positive. So what we do is after incubating the HEP2 cell line with patient derived serum, we add secondary antibodies. So let's say particular um, anti-nuclear antibody was present and against that a secondary antibody is used which is fluorofortac. So if that primary antibody was present in the patient sample, only then the secondary antibody would bind to the primary antibody and it would show the fluorescence. Otherwise it would be washed away in the washing step. Ultimately, scientists actually look at these particular data under fluorescence microscope. So by looking at the cells under fluorescence microscope, pathologists can understand what is the scenario. There are many staining patterns that can be obtained, such as homogeneous, where the overall fluorescence is coming from all the parts of the cell. There could be speckled pattern where the fluorescence is like highly dot-like structures. There could be peripheral ring-like structures and nucleolar structures present from the, uh, all these are possibilities that one can see from an ANA test. There could be no fluorescence at all. That's the negative test. Now, let's see what does these ANA pattern means. In all these circumstances, we can understand the ANA test is positive. 
So looking at these test results and looking at the clinical uh, databases, pathologists can comment on what possible disease might be there. But it's not a sure shot uh, confirmatory test. It's basically a screening and an assumption. Further tests are required. For example, if you have a homogeneous NR pattern, then it might be SLE, might be DLE, might be rheumatoid arthritis as well. But if it, the pattern is speckled, most likely it could be also MCTD, scleroderma, or even systemic lupus. So further tests are required. So all these patterns help us to get some lead or some idea that what further tests should be done to get a confirmatory result. So what we understood from these discussion that ANA is basically a screening test. It's not a confirmatory test for any disease. It only tells us that you might have autoimmune disease or might not. Because we also saw that ANA positive test doesn't mean that you are having an autoimmune disorder. While ANA test can con can't confirm specific antibodies, it can rule out some other disease that you are not affected by this and that. So it's kind of a good screening method. Further tests need to be always done along with ANA to predict one particular type of disease. So these are the cautions that one should understand while interpreting the ANA data and getting depressed. So if you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Please share my uh, channel with your friends. Support me on Patreon. If you're an Indian viewer, you can support me on Bhim UPI app. My courses are also present in India's biggest online learning platform. That means Unacademy. You can use my code AP10 to get a 10% discount on all my courses. See you in the next video.